welcome everybody to this live event coming to you from Oslo, Norway. Today we're going to talk about next gen Microsoft 365 operations and this is a live show as I mentioned which means that you can interact with us. If you see something you like, give us a tweet, post on LinkedIn, post on Facebook, whatever, and we will look at it and maybe bring it up at the end of the day. If you have a question, you can do the same because we are live, as I've said to you three times now. What we're gonna talk about today is the story of Microsoft 365. W and Microsoft 365 may be the last linear project you will ever do. And the reason for that is because Microsoft is now administering it, administrating your environment. And it's a cloud solution, which means it's ever-changing. And when it's ever-changing, you need to stay up to date on the changes. Some changes are going away, some things are coming in, some has just informational purposes, others have end user activities. At Cloudway, we have spent the last five years doing hybrid cloud projects and moving to Microsoft 365. And we have seen what doesn't work for these kind of projects. And we've also seen what works. I want to share with you our reflections on what works and what you should focus on for succeeding with a platform like Microsoft 365. We actually found three areas that we're going to talk about today. And this is mind-changing new thinking, but at the same time, it's very obvious when we've been talking about this. So the customers that we see are succeeding with this focus on the following. First, they take control over their roadmap. I'm not talking about the Microsoft 365 roadmap. I'm talking about your roadmap for features you are to implement. Take stock of where you are and how to get where you want to go. And there are actually information in the platform because it turns out that Microsoft knows how to run Microsoft 365. They are trying to tell you through different tools. And for the roadmap, you can use the secure score and compliance score in order to create your own roadmap. The second thing is the message center. One thing is having a plan for what you want to implement, but then you need to stay up to date on what Microsoft implements for you. You are welcome, by the way, because now you don't need to run a large project to get to the next version but you may need to do some changes. You may need to do some end user communication. You may want to reuse those new features so that you are on track. So the message center actually tells you what's going away, what's happening. Some stuff are for informational purposes. Some stuff is not for something you have implemented, but other stuff, changes the behavior for the end users. So you need to figure out, do we need to inform them about this? And do we need to change our training, our communication, or should we just like let it go? I'm thinking about like breaking changes as well that you need to prepare for. Microsoft well in advance are informing you. For example, basic authentication. We've been talking about that for years. Now it's going away next year. Be prepared, follow that through the message center. The third area that we see is important, and this is, I think, 
one of the areas where we are missing out, and that is adoption. Yes, we are doing adoption. Yes, we're doing training. But there are two things I have learned working in the, uh, this business for 15, 20 years, is that when we're launching something, the users are immature users. They just need to know the basics. And a span of half a year, a year, years, users get more and more mature. They get more and more tech savvy. They get more comfortable with the tools. And that is what we want to see, that they are using the tools and building their processes around the tools. So adoption is an ongoing process. Someone needs to own this and have passion for that. Those customers, those projects, those operations that has this at the core, has dedicated resources for this, those are the ones we see succeeding. Not just implementing some training when we launch it and then good luck, because that's what the project does. That's the project's task. That's why we succeed. Doesn't mean that the product succeeds or the organization succeeds with using the product. And then you can use data-driven insights in order to launch new features. You can then look at them and then adjust and repeat. That's the process. This, if you focus on this, people, this is when you have a better chance, <laughs> I would say, of succeeding with Microsoft 365. This is like mind-bending new thinking, but as I said, super obvious. But what, if it's so super obvious, why aren't you doing it? Why aren't you requesting those kind of implementations? We are not doing those linear projects anymore. We are not starting there and ending up over there. We are going like this all the time. A small implementation here, a larger project over there, just some adjustments over there. What we are also seeing is that we need to change how we are delivering this and also how we are requesting to get it delivered, both from the consultancy side, but also on the customer side. And our suggestion is that you look at the options you have. Yes, you have your partner that helps you operate this. Yes, you have Microsoft. Some of you have access to Fast Track for free. There are so many conferences out there, the community sharing knowledge. And my thinking is that if you know where you're going and you know where you are, then you can ask Microsoft, hey, can you teach us this? You can ask Fast Track, hey, we are moving over there. Can you help us? And you can go to a conference like, okay, I need to figure this out. Who is talking about this? How can I connect with them? And how can I learn from them? That's the process. That's what we want to focus on today, how you can succeed with this. And I want to quote Friedrich Nietzsche, where, you, uh, where he says, if you know the why, then you can live by any how. I personally strongly believe in this. Actually, the mission statement of Cloudway is built like this. You know our mission statement? Like from day one, five years ago, stated that our mission, our why, is to help you as a customer, you as a partner, to remove blockers, to use cloud services like Microsoft 365. Doesn't mean you have to migrate everything over there. Maybe you just want to use modern authentication because it's modern, it's more secure, you can build around that, 
We do a lot of projects around that, leaving the data where it is, but using the modern technology, modern security over there. That's our mission statement. That's our why. And that's also why we have divided up the day in two. So this is our agenda for today. And we start with why. Because again, if you know the why, you can live by any how. And also know that and, and see that we are not mentioning the what. Why are we not talking about the what, the details, like what's working, what kind of version do you need, what, what kind of button do you need to push? Because it doesn't matter, right? You need to build a process and know why you're running this process in order to capture the what, because that's ever-changing. So I will start by talking about your roadmap. Jan Ketil will continue talking about the message center, and then Morten and Merete will gonna talk about data-driven insights for adoption. Which means that we will talk about the process before lunch. And lunch ends at 12.15 Central European time when we start the lunch depends on how we're doing throughout the day. Because you remember, remember, this is live. After lunch, we're going to talk about the how. And for operations, remember the focus today is operations. We're going to talk about modern thinking through secure thinking, through the hybrid new normal, which means that your perimeters are not in a building. It's around the people, the devices, and the data. Then we're going to talk about reporting and insights. Because when you know how to measure it, then you can adjust and repeat. Remember? That's our agenda for today. I hope you will join us throughout the day, and it's going to be 20 minute sessions. We have been practicing for a long time already. We've been posting in social media that we're teamed up with uh, David Phillips because we are on a journey of bettering our communications. I want to highlight, though, that all the speakers are from Cloudway, and all the speakers today are Microsoft's most valuable professionals. Why do I want to highlight that? Well, it is the passion for technology, the passion for always learning new stuff, and also the passion for sharing what you have learned. That's what we're looking for in people working at Cloudway, which means you don't have to be an MVP, and you may not ever become an MVP to work at Cloudway, but you need to have that mindset. You need to have that passion. And all of us are hands-on. All of us are doing advanced troubleshooting, but all of us are trying to understand the technology, to look at the business case, to look at the bigger picture, and help you understand that. That's what MVPs do, and that's why. We at Cloudway, we team up both with partners as subcontractors. We do that a lot, actually. And we help customers as architects to adjust their direction so that you go off in the right direction. Because it is sometimes, if you start the wrong direction, then maybe you're heading over there instead of going over there, right? So that's what we're going to help you with and what we can help you with. And then you may, might be thinking, so why Cloudway? Why are you doing this 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 day today, this digital event? Well, I'm going to be frank with you. 
So um, I'm going to tell you what our thinking behind this is, why we are doing this. Run workshops with us, use us for training, and help us help you set the direction for how to consume Microsoft 365. That's our thinking for today. At the end of the day, I'm going to show you some workshops that we have available, but that's optional, right? Take our thinking for today and run with it. Throughout the day, we're also going to go through a crossword. This crossword is going to have the, the all key takeaways from our session. So it's going to be a very interesting puzzle during the day. And maybe you will figure out what the end word is as well. Uh, I think when you have seen it, it will be super obvious. But I think it's difficult to see it if you haven't seen it, though. So, But try to pay attention, and I will talk with all the speakers for a very short time. What's your word, and why is it? And then we'll put it in here. And so this is, will be a great summary of the day. So if, if there's something you should take away from this day, it's this puzzle. I'm going to reveal it at the end of the day. Then, it's, then it will be complete.